All right, let's change topics. Did you hear about Shang Chi being banned from being watched in China? What? No, didn't hear about this. No, I feel like that's like Korea not supporting K-pop. That's what I feel like. Wait, is this a real thing? You cannot watch Shang Chi in China. You can't watch Shang Chi in China. They've banned it. Okay, I know. Like the original Shang Chi, the father had like a really racist name, which they've changed. Yeah. How much do you think the potential lost revenue loss siege? Why would why, can we tell us why? Massive, massive. How many people do you think would like would have watched it if it was Everyone. available in China? What do you mean, like the whole one point five billion people? A lot of people. At least I reckon a billion would have watched it. Oh come on! Hold really? on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> wait, wait. I reckon maybe ten, ten, 10 million would have watched it legally. Yeah, right. 990 million would have downloaded No, realistic. <laughs> realistic numbers, Siege. Realistic numbers. Not 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 1 billion. Realistic numbers. Mate, a lot of I reckon that would have done really well there. What, why have they um, banned it? Um, apparently, Simu, the, the star of the show, yes. um, he did previous comments. He said previous comments about China and how China uh treated his parents over there and the difference between a communist country and a democratic country like canada and they were treated well in canada more than they were in their home so because of that they've sent said stuff you yeah i think so yeah and that was years like this is not when he was a star this was years ago years ago just in a passing interview i think no but China, China's media is actually going through a change because they're stopping sissy idols, I think they said it, and in effeminate men from being shown on media. What's sissy, media? What's what? sissy idols? Uh, I was going to say, what? Like is men, sissy men idols that, what I think it is? Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Okay. Like K-pop, I don't think K-pop is, I think it's, is it Ultraman? I think they're banning Ultraman, K-pop, and Shang-Chi from being shown in, uh, in the media. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, when uh, Simu Lee made these comments, I don't think he thought he was going to be a Marvel superstar. No. Right? I mean, he was he, he well, was he was taking gigs as a stock footage guy. Yeah. <laughs> so he wasn't thinking, I'm going to do stock footage, and then when I'm big, I'll do Marvel. I don't think he was thinking thinking that big. I'm just in shock that they that. They banned this I movie. I for the Chinese people. They would have loved that movie. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I love the I love the enthusiasm at the beginning of that sentence, and then the unknown at the end of it. I think they would have loved that movie. Unknown. Chinese people would have loved that movie. I I think. <laughs> they, they, they I had think to have they would have loved that A first major Chinese superhero. Yeah, so that's someone they could have supported. No, hundred percent. I know the Asian community. When you guys support someone, you guys support them. Like, wouldn't China go? Oh, actually, this is a good movie for us to to back. Us to pl- yeah, because it makes them in a good light. It gives them in a good light, right? Like, and so it's not like the the people watching it could go and Google similarly anyway. Oh, because oh. of oh, enough. yeah, that's right. How would they find out what he said? Yeah. Do you think Marvel will get rid of Simu Li- Liu because no. of no? Because it's costing them. Possibly hundred yeah, millions, if, if hundreds you, of if, millions. If you get rid of him, if you get rid of him now, yeah. After he's done supposedly a good job as the character, yeah. You're basically going to cost yourself hundred millions of dollars somewhere else. Have any of you seen the film? No, no. We're, we're, it's not, it's not we're in yet. lockdown still. Um, yeah, we're in lockdown. So we're going to go to the cinemas. If they get rid of him, uh, they've already set him up to be in more films. So I don't know how they're going to do it. Simu must feel really guilty. Could you imagine that they go, oh, China's banned it because of you, something you said years ago? I don't think they'd say it like that. I think Marvel, if they really want him, would be supportive of... Like, he didn't say anything bad. He just told his experience, what his parents had, uh, like their experiences in China and in Canada, Mm -hmm. which is (laughs) truth because it was the experience that they had. Mm -hmm. There's not... He wasn't, you know what I mean? It's yeah. not. Yeah. So I don't know if uh, Marvel, like, he, yeah, he didn't. Anyways, I don't think Marvel would do that. I don't mm. think Marvel, I think Marvel will back him. Anyways, I had this yeah. thought. I had this thought. 
of, you know, the stock footage of mm. Simu Liu. I wonder how many famous people actually did stock footage, and I wonder if one day they would become trading cards. <laughs> like, they start trading, trading stock footage of famous people before. Before they were famous. Before they were famous. How crazy would that be? Can you imagine our stock footage? Me asleep in a chair, having a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Just but the focused, thing is, they'd be the all... Sorry, Focus. they would be um, open to the public everywhere there because it's all online. Yeah, but the stock, stock footage would just like clamp down on it. It's like, mm. oh, we're, we're selling this now. We're selling that. One use. This is yours. These are one-offs. And, gotcha. and trading cards are about rarity anyway, aren't they? Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you could, like, the, the pictures on trading cards, like sports, for example, they're not unique pictures. You can you can get the picture wherever you want, but it's the fact that it's on that card. That's right. It's that, that, that card. physical card. And this reminds Ooh. me, we were, we were going to go into business doing um, baseball cards for funerals for people that have died. Do you remember this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Baseball <laughs> cards for funerals. Yeah. 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 It's got I, all I your stats. You might need to elaborate a little bit. Am yeah. I? <laughs> That that is a really it's good, good business idea. Yeah, it has all your stats and a picture. La la mm. like like Mister Ernesto did well with the ladies <laughs> in his early twenties. Yeah, and, and, and then he met a young lady called Emma, and he, he hit a home run there. Yeah, and then he ended up having three children. He went three innings. <laughs> <laughs> bought, him, bought himself a clubhouse and yeah. he settled down, mate. You know. But yeah. I think it's cool because you get a little portfolio and then you've got all your ancestors or your, all your, your family in there, their little trading cards and, you know, passes down and continues. I, I like it. <laughs> like CJ's. It would be five foot two. <laughs> 200, 200 pounds. Of pure muscle. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, so that's interesting for um, Simu Liu, Simu Liu and the Marvel, the Marvel Universe. A lot. That is that is a big market. China is a big market. Yeah. <sighs> oh man. They're that would bullies. hurt. That would hurt. That would hurt. It's isn't it? Isn't it the biggest market? That's that's all. I mean, India is probably bigger, but I don't know potential. Like what the potential for fi- for films is it bigger? Yeah, Bollywood. For non, non-Bollywood films. Oh, okay. Oh, you got me there. I don't know then. <laughs> I'm not sure. 